Welcome. This is a demonstration of the MetaMost basics. My name is Christian Johansen, and I'm a solutions architect here at MetaMost. Let me first of all log in into our high available MetaMost cluster, which is actually hosted on Azure. With saying that, I want to highlight that MetaMost is a solution that can be used on premise and off premise, depending on your needs for control and security, as well as operational ease. Let me log in using my email address and my password. As you can see, I'm already part of a team. While the team can be seen as a group of people you want to talk to on a regular basis or you are allowed to talk to, you can see that I'm also part of a public channel called Public Test, which is a channel which may be related to a project or a specific team or a specific need or an event like a kickoff. And I also have something called Private Channels. As you can see, this is a private channel and you can see funny pictures in it. And I have a third option, which is called a direct message. So I can message people directly. In this case, let me find one of my colleagues here at Metamos. Let's go to James then. You can see that James actually isn't online. So you can see that uh, on the symbol because there's no uh, green, uh, green light. And you can see it in the header as well. So let me drop a standard text message uh, to James. As you can see, this is written by me. I'm online, and this is just a normal test message, uh, text message. But because MetaMost supports something called Markdown, uh, it's really easy to format that message into, let's say, a headline. You can just use the three rounds, and you can say, hey, this is a pretty formatted headline. There you go. Really easy, really uh, easy to use, and you can find it in the internet, so it's really a language that is easy to adopt. And maybe you noticed while I was writing that there's something coming up that shows me, hey, I can change the style of my text in the text as well without using markdown. So if you use the stars or the underscores, for example, you can easily um, add a pre-formatted message, like if you want to highlight code, for example, or if you want to say, Hey, this is something that's really important. Like, give, let me give you an example. There's something I've prepared, and I can just copy this text into, into the window. There you go. Copy, paste. And as you can see, <laughs> in this case, I missed a star, so you can easily add that one. As you can see, there's a bold message. It's italic, it's a strike, it's code, and it's a quote. So it's really easy to add these things. And besides just writing text and answering like on the next message, next message, there's an awesome function called reply button. So you can see on the right side, different things like you want to add, add a message, you want to pin it to the channel, like pin items, you can add an emoji if you want to. But the most important thing from my point of view is the reply button. So you can directly reply a direct reply to a message. And keep in mind that there was maybe a communication in the last 14 days because that was a support ticket. And there was a discussion going on between team members and everybody about other cases as well. So it's really hard to find the initial message at some point in time because you have to scroll up, you remember the day, you have to flag it, you have to pin it, so you crowd that uh, um, with um, certain messages. So with replying directly, you can see that's always linked to the initial message. So as soon as you click that one, it will always bring you back to um, the initial message that was created in this my example was a support case, for example, uh, like you, you can just jump back. And this helps you over time. So while we are able to um, do that as a direct message, we can also create a public channel. So you can see there's a new public channel and we say, hey, that's my customer, for example, because we are a sales organization, it makes sense to name it like the customer is named. And then it's, that's an important thing. You can add some more information as a description field, but you can also say, hey, put a link into the header. And this is a really 
valuable feature from my point of view. Imagine you have a timetable for the support guys, so everybody knows when he's in charge. You want to highlight the customer homepage because it's the customer website. Or you want to say, hey, that's my link to MetaMos, which is public, uh, public available. So you can have a, a lot of options to post something. So let me create that new channel. As you can see, I'm part of this channel now. You can see it's named like the customer, like I said. And you can see that the link is actually there. So you can just click it and you uh, refer to um, the homepage. In this case, it's ours, right? Um, but you can also change that header at some point in time and you say, hey, it has changed because the support guys are in a different circle now or we have a different uh, website we want to highlight. So you can, you can do that whenever you want. You can also just add a second link if you want to. With being part of a public channel, you have different um, options. So you can, as you saw already, you can change something like the notification preferences. You can say, hey, that's a really noisy channel because all the so-called tickets going in. I don't, wanna, uh, I, don't, I want to mute that channel, so it's really easy to do that. And you can also say, hey, um, I want to receive desktop notifications or I won't see them or will not see them because I muted it. You can add members, you can manage members. Uh, you can do the same, by the way, using the members button. So you can see I'm actually the only member, but I can manage my members and say, hey, um, I want to add new members like Craig and James and Jerm. And they become part of the channel, they get an invite. So you can see, actually that's a good example because you can see that um, the channel members are sorted by their online status. So it's really easy to see who's online by just clicking the members button. And this really gives you an idea of how, how fast you can find out if someone is online. And you may notice that there is a chat window so you can directly from that menu create a direct chat message to um, the member. There's another button next to it, and you can you may notice it. This is a so-called Zoom plugin. So MetaMos supports Zoom directly out of the box, so you can configure that one in the so-called Systems Console, which is part two or three of uh, of this demonstration. And we have another option, which is called Pin Post. Uh, you may notice that there's a pin if you go over a message. Like this is a another test message. You can easily Ping important, pin important links and you can say, hey, pin that to the channel. And you can see easily that if you click pin channels, that is pinned to this channel actually. And you can see with a flag like this one, the text as well, because a flag message is a different one. So you can easily flag that message as well. So we have another button called flags. So where you can see these messages, all your flags, you can see there was another one before that. So it's really, really easy to, to follow up. And remember um, the uh, direct reply. So if you go there and you say, hey, I want to reply another uh, comment onto that, you can say, hey, this is my second, second reply because there was a change in the support ticket or Jira got solved or whatever. And this is something that's mainly true for all of the functions when you reply to someone. Uh, you can enhance that into a full chat window. So it's really easy to stay in that chat uh, while you may want to overview all the things going on. It like, keeps you focusing on the message you wanted to. So let me go back to the customer channel. So as you can see, there's a lot more on options. So you can do a search inside. Uh, you can see where you were mentioned, um, whether you had mentioned. And then we have another thing called integrations, which is part two of the series, and the system console, which is the administration console, we will see in part three. Maybe you notice that with the actual release 4.9, there's a new function, and this is something I want to highlight at the end. Um, you can now add so-called um, team icons, so you can easily put an icon like a logo or something uh, into um, the team description because you may want to have that available and you can easily change that in the team settings and you can say, hey, that's my team icon and then you can just upload it. Just wanted to highlight that because that's part of the new uh, Fallout 9 release. So I really thank you for looking into that video. I hope it, uh, you enjoyed uh, the Metamorphs basics.